Hey, it's me, OG Duffy. In work today, it's a Saturday, over the escape rooms in Faversham. So I'm just going to nip out, have a look around charity shops, see what delights I can buy. So uh, wish me luck, let's see if I can find anything. So I'm going to nip out between games and uh, wish me luck, let's see what I get, eh? So my charity hunt started. Uh, first charity shop I come across, um, which I visit quite often, uh, general crap in here really to be honest you use your glasses and dodgy cups and all that sort of stuff I had a look at some annuals and some books nothing there of interest really um, new little section here they'd set up which was uh, jigsaw puzzles so uh, <laughs> if you're interested in your puzzles bish bosh bang but that's not for me anyway I carried on looking around um, and quite honestly in this charity shop uh, I'm quite lucky usually they have a, a bit of a game section and uh, we're coming to that shortly so march on up the stairs but before we do that we've got this glass cabinet here I've had a few finds in this before um, nothing brilliant but a few little like card games and stuff a Mega Man card game once which was well worth a viewing um, and then I generally come up here and there's a section up here where they usually have their uh, the video games and I've had a few finds over the years um, most recent I think was probably a uh, a um, Silent Hill game um, which was pretty cool and this is the section I'm talking about so I got quite excited at a distance but then when I got to it mate as you're about to see let's take a look got your usual blu-rays xbox 360s fifa 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 oh ps3 fifa 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 ps2 sing star sing star sing star and uh, a few wii titles there uh the only one of the decent name really was the top one that's links crossbow training they only 150 for this i think I picked up for 50p in sex about a year ago, so uh, uh, weren't for me. Um, some some um, PS PC games, sorry. And there was these DS titles here. Let's take a look. Tigers, not for me. Brain training, another brain training, and another Simba tile. So not the best of starts. So I don't walk up the high street. Headed towards the next one, which uh, was here on the right, which we're coming to shortly. It's not bad. I've had one find in here in about the last year. So uh, it's never the best, really. But anyway, I went in anyway. And guess what? There was nothing. Jack shit, mate. Nothing in there at all. So, went round the corner. This is another charity shop I visit. Had a few finds over the years in here. But again, nothing major. Found this J.R. Tolkien book. Uh, they're regurgitating a lot of that stuff now. Is it his grandson or something writing the books now? I'm not sure. Um, anyway, here we go. Set of headphones here. And what's a pair of PC headphones and bish bosh bang. Happy days. you got a pair. Uh, not for me though. Um, two games in here. NBA 2K and Mass Effects on the 360. So, no real finds in this store today, which is a shame. But then I took a quick look at the board games here. They had a Monopoly Game of Thrones. £20 they wanted for that. Personally, I thought it was a bit steep for a charity shop. There was this. Risk, or Risico, which is the German variation. £8, that was a Star Wars version of Risk. I'd have bought that. I do love Risk, but no one in my home will play board games with me. No, they all refuse. Little OG, Mrs. OG. Old games that are not their things. Anyway, let's walk along here. And, uh, for those ever visiting Fashion, the Bear Inn there is a very nice little pub. Get yourselves into it. Um, and there's a couple of charity shops down here. Um, this one here, that was um, goods on the outside. So I took a look. Um, as you can see here, a few DVDs in this box here. So I had a rummage through there. But it was just that DVDs. There was no little hidden gems in there today so in the shop I had a mooch and as you can see a little basket so I brought this out so I had some games in here a blu-ray there to kick things off the do CX another FIFA of course Assassin's Creed finding a lot of Assassin's Creed's lately a uh, mystery game there um, they're so popular on the DSL names sort of but again nothing of uh, real find in there and this was the last charity shop of the day 
um, popped in here. And I got quite excited. I saw that stack of PS2 titles there. But then as you can see, long closure inspection, not a lot really there. Um, the DS games, again, your usual uh, shelf filling stuff or your fodder, shall we say. Uh, and I nearly walked away. Then I looked up here and tucked in amongst the CDs was a uh, this. So for a quid, it was complete. And I thought, I'm going to have that. And I did. So a bit of a spoiler. You know what's coming up for one of the titles. Uh, Mario and Sonic at the Olympics. Quid, that was. Happy days. And as I come out there, the sun in was calling me. But you know what? I was at work. I was having a quick break, so I didn't get time. Now, I don't normally bother looking at the books, but this uh, shop, second-hand shop I popped into, it had plenty of books in there, but... Um, no games, so I just had a mooch around the books because I didn't want to seem rude and just leave the shop. Um, but there was this box at the front which was interesting. Now those of a certain age will remember the fighting fantasy books and this range as well, which were the lone wolf ones. Uh, pick these books up, so another little spoiler on my pickups. But you will not believe the value of these guys, so uh, do check out to the end because I, I had a right win with these, honestly. Brilliant. Great pickups. Happy days. And finally, I return to my place of work for the day, which is Clever Dilemma Escape Rooms in Farrisher in Kent. So if you're ever looking for something to do on a Saturday and you're in the Kent area, come check us out. Clever Dilemma. We'll look after you. Before we take a look at what I found in the charity shops in Faversham, I've got some other pickups to show you as well. I've got a recent CEX pickup. Uh, I've got a charity shop pickup that I did on the Isle of Sheppey, which is not far from me. And I also got some pickups. They're not really pickups. It was my birthday last week. Happy birthday, happy birthday. So uh, I got some great retro gift games. No games as such, but some great retro based stuffs, which I'm going to show you guys as well. Uh, so before we get to it, first off, let's take a look and see what I found in Faversham. So the Faversham pickups, as you saw, was obviously this one. A quid. Couldn't leave that sitting there. It's really nice condition, actually. Pound, that was. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. Um, I'll be one that I'll throw on the shelf. Might get round to playing it at some point. But for Faversham, that was it for games. But for those that are interested, before we get to my CEX pickups for the week, I'll pick these up, okay? The Lone Wolf Adventures. Ooh, Lone Wolf. Adventures 1 and 2 on there. Right, and then these couple of Lone Wolf uh, books as well. Now, I know these aren't retro game related, but they are game books, all right? Not video games, but you would use them. You'd roll dice and stuff like that, and you'd, you'd choose your own adventure sort of thing. Now, the Fighty Fantasy books were out, and then Lone Wolf was sort of a, 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 an offshoot of that, a completely different character and stuff. But I remember these being mega popular when I was at school, and I really enjoyed them. Me and my mates would, would play these instead of studying, really. Um, and, and they were great. Really, really good fun. But I picked these up, right? That one was £2, and they were a pound each. Now, I was shocked to look at the values of that. These are the sold prices. Look at the sold prices on that. Will I hold on to them? I don't know if I will, actually. I, I, I might have a flick through for old times' sakes. I do love the artwork in these. Uh, let's give you some examples. It's all just black ink drawing, really. Just stuff like that. But I did love this sort of stuff. And, and the artwork brought it all back to me, really. So I might have a flick through. But you know what? I might sell them on. Because I'm sure there's people out there that do collect this stuff. Do you remember the Fighting Fantasy books? And do you remember Lone Wolf? I bet those of a certain age who watch the channel certainly will. I did. Now, my pickups from the CEX shop, my local CEX. I'll pop in there when I'm passing. Uh, so what did I pick up? I've got this. Okay, never seen this before. Death of Junior, Root of Evil, £3, that one. All of these are complete with manuals, okay? So I'm not going to crack them all open because, hey, that would be hell of a bore for you guys at home, I'm sure. Uh, I then got myself some more Wii U titles. My Wii U collection is growing very nicely. A Rayman Legends, six notes, that one, £6. Rayman Legends, again, all complete, okay? Marvel Super Heroes Lego, a fiver. Can't go wrong. Bit of Lego, Marvel superheroes. Uh, staying with the Wii U, I then got this Toad Treasure Tracker Captain Toad. Six pound. 
I didn't think that was a badly priced game. Uh, it's a fairly decent title. Then I've got some PS3s. Uh, Dragon's Dogma, £1.50. It's a Capcom game. What's not to love? Now, normally when you watch these videos, uh, you don't see the prices because I've cleaned all the games up as I sort of put them into my collection. Uh, so I've left the prices on and I'm doing it Oh, it's about face this time. I'll have to clean them up afterwards. Uh, this one here. Uh, I'll show this one first. Dead Space, £3. I've never played these games. I've heard brilliant things about the Dead Space games. And I thought, for that money, three notes. I'm not going to let that sit there. So I thought, I'll take that. Dead Space. And I picked up Dead Space 2. It says limited edition. I don't know what's limited about it. Uh, and again, that was £3 as well. Okay, because, hey, I've got the two. I think there was three in this season or set. Let me know, folks. You guys at home will know. And then, in CEX, I picked up some Sega Master System games. Quite impressed with these. And the first one I got was Teddy Boy. Again, these are all complete, just to show you. They've got the manuals and cartridges. Okay. Um... This one was £2, that. I didn't think that was bad at all. Actually says on the label there, unboxed. Is it just me? That's definitely a box right there. So I don't know what you're playing at with that one, CEX, but hey-ho, I'm not complaining. Uh, next one I got, again, Master System was Populous. I played this on the Mega Drive back in the day, and I really enjoyed it. It's a god sim. You play god. Um, and good fun. Never done it on the Master System, though, so it could be an interesting title. And next up, again, the final one I got from my CEX pickup uh, on this store run was Heavyweight Champ Fiverr. Now, before we come to my birthday pickups, because I, I did go out for the day and did a bit of game hunting uh, and uh, presents I received... I'm going to show you the charity shop pickups I had. Now, these were five for a pound. It was a cancer research shop. Do they do that quite often, guys? Is that is this quite a common thing? Nothing that special there, but for the money, I thought I'm not leaving them sitting there, right? Honestly, they're all common titles, pretty much, but there was one half decent one. Uh, Uncharted free, 20 pence. 20p, really? Honestly, I mean, if you've played it for an hour, it's 20 pence. Uh, the getaway, I've got this already, but for that money, I won't leave it sitting there, all right? They also have a pound on them, but it's five five for a pound. Does your, is your charity shop, are you doing that? Is the cancer research? Let me know in the comments, as always. Star Wars Racer Revenge, it's Star Wars. This is OG Duffy after all. I'm not leaving a Star Wars title sitting there. Next up, uh, PS2 again. Uh, Smackdown, just bring it. That's The Rock, isn't it? See, I do know some of my modern wrestlers. The Rock, who else is in that? Oh, 70 match types. I don't know. Enhanced story mode. And then finally was this. Sonic Collection Plus uh, for the PS2, of course. Again, they were all complete with manuals. And this one, very nice condition. So I was pleased with this pickup. It's a great little pickup. And what a great combination of games on there. I mean, you've got Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Sonic Hedgehog 3, Sonic and Knuckles, Sonic 3D, uh, Flicky's Island, Sonic the Hedgehog Spinball, and Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. Plus, Sega Game Gear games of Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic Chaos, Sonic Drift, Sonic Labyrinth, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, and Sonic Blast, and bonus, unlockable, Sega Fun. Hmm. Exclusives and stuff, apparently. Okay, but that, 20 pence. Can you believe that for 20p? Average is probably, what, 20p or something? <laughs> That's amazing. 20 pence. They were just crazy. So all five of them... There you go. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's nothing out there that's truly outstanding that's absolutely wicked, you know. That's, oh, wow, what a great bargain, you know. It's, it's a mega collectible pie. But them, right, then five games. Five games for 20 pence each a pound. I mean, that's mad. You could flip them, no problem. But anyway, onwards and upwards to the main event. It was my birthday last week. So, my missus took me to Maidstone. For the day, just for a mooch back, so we were going out in the evening, so I didn't want to go too far. We went out for a nice meal and stuff. Uh, and little OG come along as well. We had a few beers in uh, Maidstone Town, uh, and I went to the CEX shop there, did some pickups, which I'll show you in a moment, and I'll show you the birthday presents that I had that are retro game related. So, my CEX pickups, but before we get to that, this is Darksiders on the Wii U, brand new, sealed. I'm sealed. 
Okay, got that on eBay. Paid a tenner for that. Tenner. Sealed Wii U games. Got quite a few sealed Wii U games now. Just tucking them away on the shelf. So that collection is growing nicely. And I've got this, right? These are the CEX pickups from Maidstone now for, for my birthday. Did I happen to mention? And it was uh, The Conduit on Nintendo Wii. Now, obviously, with this, it's a shooter, okay? It's by Sega. As a shooter, and I do like the shooter games on the, the Wii. It says, uh, it's nice, you can get a decent gun uh, connection, and uh, off you go with that. Right, then what else do I get? Right, more Wii U games. Okay. Yoshi's Woolly World, £12, that one. Okay, bit of Yoshi. Be a great title. Pikmin 3, a tenner. Tenner, that one, Pikmin 3 on the Wii U. And Wii U, the final one I got was Lego Marvel Super Heroes on the Wii U for a fiver. Okay. Uh, the cover on that, not the greatest condition at the top. A bit of a bit of, as you can see, I don't know if the camera's picking that up. A bit of wear across the top. But hey, you know, I do love my games and I'm not moaning at that. It's going in the collection at five. I think I'm up to about 40 games now on the Wii U collection. So I'll keep picking them up. I will get there. I'm getting there with that one. And then a couple more games. Uh, I've got a Master System game here. Miss Pac-Man. Ms. Pac-Man for the Sega Master System. And then I've got this, which was California Games on the Sega Mega Drive. Again, £8. The same price again. Again, so they were my CEX pickups on my birthday. But more importantly, what presents did I get? Right, well, here we go. We'll do this one together. Those that watch the channel regularly will know I've made mention of my garage conversion that I'm converting into a game room. Progress has been slow, but I've just sort of broken the bit of ice with it now and the ceilings are nearly completed and insulating stuff the stud walls up that's all done i've got to hang a hanger door between the garage and the, the, the room bit and in this case i plaster board in the walls and that isn't going to take as long as people would think uh the electrics are run the first uh, fix on the electrics is done and i will be shooting some video to show you guys the progress and stuff but i had a big old treadmill in there and a big old uh some other bits and that and that were really getting in the way and i managed to sell them and get them shifted on so now i've got some blank canvas space to work on but anyway i'm gonna build a little bar out there and a gaming den all right so my wife bought me these mario kart glasses now these we can answer a question together. Because I looked at it. I took them out of the box. We bought, she bought us a few of these. <coughs> Excuse me. Not just one. So, I looked at it and I thought to myself, that doesn't look like a pint glass. It looks like an American pint. So, I'm guessing that's half a litre, all right? Now, I've got a can here. Because it's my birthday and all, or was last week, Wednesday, of Stella. So, we'll crack the Stella. This is 440 mil, I believe. Let's see if that fills the glass or not this is really quite sad <laughs> you tuned it to a retro game channel and here we are sucking our beers now i did say to the wife right it's how much beer i must be drinking when i got it out i said i reckon that'll hold 440 mil and, and i was completely guess there's still a little dribble in there look at the head on that this is a perfect size glass for a 440 mil can of lager or strongbow or cider or whatever you're drinking that day just let that head go down a bit just top it off. Oh, so folks, I've answered that question. Now these are brilliant glasses. I mean, just have a look there. You've got your your Mario characters, all your different sort of logos going on, and all that. So my Mrs. Nicolette, bless her, love you lots, bought me a set of these for me bar when it eventually gets done. So anyway, this is my to my birthday, and this one's for you. Cheers. Right. So anyway, what else did I get? Let me get the stuff out. Staying with beer, she bought me some coasters. Now, these are really thin metal coasters, all right? Felted backs, and uh, they're quite classic in their own right. Bit of Space Invaders. Sorry if you get a bit of reflection off the light there, but hey, you know, a lot of this is out of my control. Pac-Man, all right? Again, apologies for any reflection. Uh, a bit of Tetris going on now. And finally... Come on, guys, you can name that yourselves. I ain't naming it for you. You tell me. All right? So they were nice. So, so I've got my coasters. I've got my glasses. Just got to get my beer pump built. Oh. <laughs> Next up, I've got these sock invaders. Uh, sets of socks. They're all... Um, they're, not, they're not matching. 
but they're all space invader related okay so that's handy just just wear wear one to get hold in it and then get rid of it i suppose two more items here two more items now next item was this the ultimate 80s retro gaming collection now my brother bought me this, and I have to say it's a really, really good book. And I've been flicking through it, and it's it's lovely, well laid out. It's it's got some really nice stuff in there, and it's just beautiful graphics and showing everything, and bright, colourful, bold, and it's given me good a few ideas from this book as well for the channel of future videos, which we will be looking at, I am sure. And finally, these are gifts you just cannot buy. All right, you can't buy these gifts because my wife. Nicolette made me this, a bit of bunting to put up in my bar. I hope this shows how well it comes across. It, it's quite long, it's quite long, but she made this herself completely. Now look at this, right, give me a minute. Let me get a good section going on now. It's obviously Pac-Man and the ghosts, look. But she even put it on some string now, well not string, I don't know what you call this crafty stuff, with like the bunting. With all the dots, so like the Pac-Man dots, and that goes on and on and on. So I'll drag that draped up in the bar when I get round to it. But isn't that cool, eh? She did a great job on that, didn't she? Well, I think she did. So well done, Nicolette. Thank you very much for them bits. And like I say, we had a great day. It was a brilliant birthday. Uh, just a bit of shopping generally, and of course a nice meal in the evening. Uh, hooked up with my mate Al and uh, took the missus and the son out for a lovely meal. Anyway, folks, that's the recent pickups, and it's good now because I'm going to start back filling these shelves before we get it all moved out to the games room when it's finished. I'll do you a video for that soon, all right? But again, folks, let me know in the comments any recent pickups you've had of late, any information, any news. What do you think of this stuff? What do you think of my Mrs. Sewing skills there? She made all that herself. Anyway, onwards and upwards. I've been OG Duffy. You guys are awesome as always. And uh, cheers. Time for another one, me thinks. Laters.